Learning Arduino with Fritzing Starter Kit by and with Stefan Hermann. Hi. Today I like to show you another part from the Fritzing Starter Kit and it is the RGB LED. An RGB LED, like the na name says, is an LED which can light up in different colors, like red, green and blue. And of course you can mix the colors. The RGB LED in the starter kit is a common anode RGB LED. That means that one of the pins is common um, to the other connections and between those connections there's always one LED inside so if we take a look at the schematics and you can see that the LED actually consists of three LEDs built in one package and one uh, connection is a common connection that's that one that's that one and it's the anode side of those LEDs okay if you take a look to your LED then you can see that all the legs are in different length so I try to build this here that you can see what I mean and one leg is the longest one and this is a common pin the LED in the starter kits has um, the order of red here blue here and green here so it the <laughs> RGB LED actually has got the order RBG okay so actually it is a RBG LED right okay so but now let's build something with that and uh, I want to build with you the mood light example or a mood light example like a color mixer Okay, the first thing is we take a breadboard and I will redo, I take a new LED out so that all the legs are again same length. And I place it in my breadboard, let's say here. Here, okay. And we will make this example of course with an Arduino board and I place the Arduino board here yes and the first thing I want to do is to bring the 5 volt plus up here okay I will color it red and this will be a uh, connection to my LED and it will stay all the time. It is because it's a common anode LED so the LED is supplied with a plus. There are of course common cathode LEDs there you have to supply it with a ground. Okay and the next thing to do is I have to hook up all the single LEDs in the package and I need a resistor like if I would use a normal LED and here I will take three standard 220 ohm resistors actually it's not so exact the resistors should be a little bit different uh, because the uh, LEDs inside here um, they usually need uh, different resistors but just slightly different so for our example it's perfectly okay just to work with that okay and the next thing I have to do is connect my pins it is essential that we can um, write this analog signal or this PWM signal to the LED so that we can fade the colors through um, and therefore I will use PWM channels 
and I make this here orange then I take the number 10 uh, we said this leg is the blue pin so I maybe color this wire blue and that's a green one um, so I make this green right Okay, therefore I have of course to select that green um, now we need a little bit um, interactive or interactivity so I will use a potentiometer just to run through the colors and I have to hook it up on the on the ground uh, here and of course to the 5 volt plus and I will put the middle leg here to the analog in a zero I make this yellow okay perfect so now we have our um, circuit for the RGB LED so maybe we can uh, look how it looks in the schematic therefore I will rotate this here there is the schematic of the LED and it's hooked up to the all the resistors every single LED in this RGB LED has got its own resistor in series okay and we have got a common 5 volt plus connection and on the input side we have a potentiometer which is connected to the ground and to the 5 volt plus and to the analog zero okay perfect so you can find this example in Fritzing if you go on to file uh, examples Arduino or a file examples starter kit and then you can find it here on color fader and you can find the link where you can find the code right so if you follow that link then you will find the example on the Fritzing website and you will find the code and it's here and you can copy paste it to the Arduino software and upload it All right, that's all for today. So, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye. This episode was brought to you by fritzing.org, the free and open software for project documentation, sharing and PCB layout creation. Check out our PCB fabrication service Fritzing Fab. With the purchase of Fritzing products, you actively support the development of the Fritzing software. For more Arduino related questions, go to arduino.cc forum.